So hi guys, for today's video, I'll be teaching you on how to deploy Docker images to Azure Container Registry and then we will push it to Azure Kubernetes Service. So in this video, make sure to have Azure CLI already downloaded in your system unit. So we will be using this Azure CLI later in the Kubernetes uh, deployment. So for this one also, we will be using the deployment or the, doc the deployment documentation that I created when I first started this one. So this will be deploying the container to Azure Kubernetes service. So uh, we will be using this uh, process or documentation in the entirety of the video. So now let's uh, hop on the video itself for us to start. So as you can see here, uh, here at the documentation, we need to clone a sample application, which is this one. So let's just go to our terminal. There you go. Then the CD on what? Uh, on what file do you want the file to run? Mm -hmm. CD download SS. There you go. There you go. So now let's just git clone this one and then just right click and paste anyway. So don't worry, I'll be also putting the link for the documentation that I'm using for you to just follow and then. Uh, the purpose of the video is to, if I ever counter, encounter a problem, uh, I will be able to solve this one. So now that we're in the AKS store demo file path, so let's just create a container image and run the applications by using Docker Compose-F. So let's run this one. Copy. Warning. There you go. Uh, when, we uh, when we paste the Docker Compose, uh, it's running and pulling the the container itself. So make sure to or also have Docker desktop also running in your uh, system unit. So for the case of this video, it might uh, it took too long because it is still building. So in my end, I already built this one. So let's just skip on the part of the video that is already done. So now that the container is already created, so when we go to our Docker desktop first, we can go to the image and to the containers. As you can see, AKS Store demo is already running. So we can just also check uh, through the command portal, which is this one. We just use Docker images and it will show all the images that it's that it created. So for us to test locally, the file that we used, let's just go on localhost 8080 to see if the application is running in our browser. So let's just reload. As you can see, it is already running. So now, uh, we will be hopping on Azure. Uh, we will be creating our first resource, which is Azure Container Registry. Uh, in the Azure portal, let's just go to Container Registries. There you go. And then let's just click on Create. Uh, and the forms uh, for the subscription make sure to have a uh, active subscription uh, running so i already created a video on how to claim an azure for students uh, subscription so i'll be also putting that link in the video so for the resource group uh, it is up to you on what you want let's just create a new one so let's just name this as nadayada yt then click on ok so for the registry name, it is up to you. So let's just use the file, the registry name and the, yeah, the registry Kubernetes. So it is already uh, validated. So for the domain name label scope, uh, it's up to you on based on the project requirements that it's using. So we will just remain it as default. For the location, it is also personal preference. And for the standard or for the pricing plan, I will be just using basic. So if you want to configure some network and uh, uh, custom or custom tags uh, you can use standard because in basic it is not available for configuration for example this one the network connectivity cannot be configured it is only available for premium pricing plan and also for the encryptions so after that let's just click on review and create and then it will run its final validation and let's just create for this one it will just submit the deployment this will be fast in terms of the deployment here at azure so let's just wait <clears throat> so
So as you can see, uh, the deployment is already complete. So when we go to resource, as you can see, this is the resource. This is the resource group that we created, the location, the subscription that we're using. So don't worry on this one. I will be also deleting this. Uh, I'll be also deleting the subscriptions and uh, resource that I'm creating. So it will be useless when you try to use it or so for the access keys, let's just enable admin user. So for the one thing that it is important here is in the services when we go to repositories, this is where we will push the Docker images in here to, to container registry. So now that we created already our container registry. So you can also follow this one if you want to do it in Azure CLI. So in this case, uh, we already created it. So now the next thing that we will be doing is we will build and push the image to container registry. So let's just copy this one. Uh, this one is an ACR name. It will be based on your name that you've created. So in my case, this is the name. So that's the thing that you'll only be uh, configuring this one. So let's go to our terminal. So let's clear this again. Let's just space. And it will AC ACR build the, the thing that we do. So let's just skip on the part of the video that it is already done because it will uh, take uh, some time for this one because it will build the it will build the image, pushing it to the Azure. So let's skip on this one. So hi guys. So it take uh, a while. So after that, I mm, I was able to push all the things that we'll be needing. So when we reload our registry, as you can see, we have already the image that we created. So here at the heart container, you can see the image here. So we already uh push it in this one so next that we will be doing is so i also want to uh i also want to say that uh, there's been an error that i experienced so make sure to use a docker tag before uh docker tag for it and the docker push for this one so i didn't use the az acr build so because it's giving me a permission error so but for it it's just the same we just use docker for pushing our images then so we can also view our image in the registry by using this one so let's try if this will work so az acr repository this Dash, dash dash name then the registry name that we had so we can just copy this one so in the access key this thing so that it has them for us so where is it and then just go back in this one and then just click on attach output then table so let's just wait for Azure CLI if this will work, but we can all already view the repository list here at our container registry here at Azure portal. So the thing that we're testing is if we can see it also using our Azure CLI. So after, uh, after that, we can already create our own Azure Kubernetes service cluster. So as you can see here, we already have the, the containers that we created. So it is now okay. So now let's jump on creating our easy AKS cluster. So let's just copy this one, easy AKS create and copy. Let's just full screen this for the meantime. And for the ACR name, we can just copy again the access key or the registry name. And then the thing that we will be needing in this one is we can reduce the node count to two. And let's just name this as my AKS cluster. Let's remain at default. And for the resource group, let's name it as Medaliada-YT. 
Then click on enter after that. So it pops an error. This one attach my research group. AZ AKS create dash dash research group. So let's try it again. Yeah, the YT. Touch ACR. So let's try it. If this thing will work. So let's wait. Uh, it, the default value of VM will be in that. So let's skip on this part of the video for you to save some. So hi guys, as you can see, after uh, running for a bit of time, it pops up with this uh, uh, output. So this thing is the, it means that it already created an AKS cluster at Azure. So we can connect cluster using Kubec CL. So let's use this, let's just copy. And then just paste is the AKS get credentials. So connection port it. Let's just wait. Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. So we can verify the connections using Kubec TL get nodes like that. So as you can see, it created the pod. So what it means why it was created to as you can see when we go back the node count we change it to two which is this one we change the node count to two yes this change the node count so it created two clusters for this one so next is after that you can already update the manifest file get your login server address using azacr list so let's just copy this one and then paste. Then click on the My Resource Group. Let's just change it to Medallada dash yt. Click on Enter. Let's just wait for this one. So it will just give us the list of the container registry that we created. So let's just skip on this one so for you to save some. So as you can see, it pops up with this ACR log in server. So next that we will be doing is, I think we will change the value of the comment file in the deployment. So I think we will be needing to open our Visual Studio. Let's just type code dot and it will open automatically. And then we go to this one, this is Find the deployment YAML file. Let's just make, let's just make this thing bigger. So the uh, search, search Android CR, CR, or in the AKS quick start. So I'll be uh, pausing the video a bit for me to find the file for you to have some uh, more clear understanding. So hi guys, I'm back. So I just searched on the Microsoft Learn on what will I configure. I forgot I didn't add it in the documentation. So we'll just search here on containers. And then as you can see, you can uh, scroll on this one, find it. So we will be uh, configuring this one, the GHCRIO part. So what we will be doing is, let's just copy this uh, login server that we use, and then we will replace GHCRIO into this one. So when we, uh, when we go here, as you can see in this one, Okay, that the thing that we'll be configuring is also with the samples. So we will remove also Azure samples. Okay. And let's find also other containers that uses this uh, image. So let's find 
trainers trainers this one will also change this one to our login server let's search for more that's one take this the last storefront for the image let's just put it like that and i think that's all for this one and then after that, let's just save and close the file, apply the um, file. Let's just go again to the terminal and uh, press this Quebec CTL. There you go. And then let's just remove the .net. And then let's copy the file name aks-store-goods.yaml. Right. So let's just go okay, store dash tweet star that yaml and then just click on enter and it will apply already and for us to get the for us to get the all this the external ip we can use two back el get service of the AKS or service. Okay. I uh, forgot how to get the external IP. So we will just use AKS to see AKS store get service is store from as you can see when we go in this one you can see the external ip this one this is the uh, ip that we will be using to access the the application that we've created so it might took a while if we are still uh if it's our first time on accessing the external ip so let's just skip on this one and i'll show you if it's already so as you can see it is now already working in the in the url that we've created which is in this ip external ip that we created as you can see here in the storefront load balancer this is the external ip let me just copy that and this is the application so if we want to also see the external ip through azure portal we just go back here at home for you to see just go in the resource group that you put the cluster just click on the my aks cluster and then here at the kubernetes resource the drop down just go to services and ingresses and you can see here the external ip which is this one which runs from a load balancer and make sure to have the stats okay so for you to know that it is working so i think that's all of it in the deploying azure uh, deploying docker container to azure container registry to azure kubernetes service so i hope you learned something in this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you have some comments i'll be addressing you uh, immediately as i can so that's all for the video thank you for watching